So it's that. Can we do a man? Do you want to Give me a pan round. Yeah. So I can literally see from about here to, to about yeah, here. Yeah, totally. Which is fine. So I've got a brush. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So what, that's kind of a little bit of the context really, and that book's really great. And there's some several books coming out around person-centered principles around personalization and gender. What I'd like to do is just give some top tips really. So, so some underlying values, um, thinking about um, person-centered planning and personalization gender. And, and for me really, uh, it's about people having more choice and control in their lives they can live a more good life. And for me, that's what it's always been about throughout my kind of career. It's seen some real outcomes in people's lives. And that's what we're here at the moment, it's about outcomes. And it's about good lives, it isn't about being paid for the fortunes. And so, so often we start with people um, thinking about um, developing a support plans. So that might be the yeah, If we get really, really good support plans written, um, people will live good lives. And my experience is um, that's not should be just like that. I've never had a really good support plan. I don't see people living good lives. And I remember the National Indicator of the 30s was saying we have to have 70% of people support plans and that's what we're measuring. But actually there's more stuff that is that can happen with the people of the lives. So we need to think about approaches. And I remember one story about a guy that um, used his personal budget to buy a quality home. Um, um, and that was a real challenge because uh, finance had to think about the money. Um, lawyers have to think about you know, what can we do, can we sublet it, can we sell it or whatever. So um, systems have to change as well to think about living good lives. And, uh, that's a real challenge for the organisation. But I, I've seen both of those things, so support plans and approaches um, happening, uh, but I still don't see change. Is that similar as Liverpool? You've got some stuff happening, you've got some good approaches happening, you've got some nice DVDs, some nice books, but do we really see the big change happening? Small change. Small change. Small That's great, because that kind of brings me on to the next slide. It says that when it starts with our thinking, so three things have to happen. And, and often, um, when we go and we, we talk to a social worker, we talk to a finance manager or a contract manager, if their thinking doesn't change, their behaviour will change. So they will still be thinking about maybe a financial year, April to April, uh, yeah. rather than thinking, you know, if we invest in a five year business plan, um, we could do some real kind of creative changes around the day. Um, or we might be thinking about traditional ways, easy ways. So it's actually getting people not just to think about support plans or approaches, it's about helping people to think in the I guess the, we use tools, we call them thinking tools. So it, it does really start with our thinking, it starts with our mind. And I alluded to this presentation being um, superheroes. So <laughs> your, your job is to guess who these superheroes are. So anybody recognise who this guy is? I accept you. Fabulous <laughs> Four or something? Fabulous Four, your Star Trek make it so number one. He's, he's a, 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 a Patrick. Fantastic Four, is it? He's, he's from the. Oh, the X Men. X Men, oh, that's yeah. right. That's and he was Professor Charles Xavier, and he had this he was in a wheelchair, but he had this amazing ability to use his mind, and he could knock in. Uh, to put where people were uh, and some thinking. So he had this great ability to use his mind. And I, and I love this kind of analogy because he was, a, he was like the dean of a school of gifted and enabled people, uh, seeing that real strengths, but the world saw them as mutants. You know, uh, it's kind of almost like disown. So I like that kind of parallel, really. A lot of people we support, because see their gifts, their abilities, their contribution to, to uh, our communities, but often we see them as uh, mutants or actually put them away from us. So yeah, absolutely. Support planning starts with uh, how we use, how we use our mind, how we use our thinking. And there's a lady called Nancy Klein, and she says everything that we do depends on its quality, um, on the thinking we do first. Everything we do depends on its quality, on the thinking we do first. And that's from a book called Time to Think. And I guess over these two days, we've got time and space to actually think and reflect and make sure that we're doing everything. <laughs> and she also says um, that the quality of our thinking uh, depends on what's well, about the attention we pay to each other as well. So it's great to see that in the background. We also start with what we're saying about listening, one person speaking at a time. So it's about us focusing on. So everything we do depends on its quality and the thinking we do first. 
We need to have a vision to see the future. Does anybody recognise this sort of matrix? From the Matrix, absolutely. Neo from the Matrix. And uh, it's one of my favourite superheroes. Neo has computers, which I love. Uh, he does kung fu. He's kind of looks trendy. You know, absolutely spot on. I was going to say leather, but I think that's what he's going to say. Um, but it's great. And, and I love three films. It's one of my favourite kind of things. And within those three films, uh, in the second film, Neo had these visions of the future. And he saw visions about the machine world and how to save the world. And one of those outstanding kind of visions, those, those visions he saw, was his love of his life, Trinity, falling to a death from an office block. You know. And got to stage in the film where a guy says, you can make a choice. Uh, you can leave that door and you can save the love of your life, Trinity, or you can go out through that door and save the world. Uh, and based on those kind of visions, what do you think Neo did? Save the world. Well, he's a superhero, so he actually went out and saved Trinity, oh, yeah. and in the final mm -hmm. film, in the third film, he saved the world. But he made a decision based on the visions that he saw. And, uh, you know, I was trying to think, what, what visions um, do we have? And um, what's our vision for Liverpool? You know, where, 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 where do we see ourselves going? And there's a guy called Stephen Covey, and he looked at people that are really effective, uh, um, and he actually said, you know, they do seven things, or they have seven habits. And one of those habits is starting with the end of the site. So people that are really effective know where they want to go, and that's where they, so they know the end result or the outcome, and that's the way they go. And he, he paints a lovely story about these kind of workers, and, uh, and these workers are hacking through the jungle, and they're working really hard, and the sweat's dripping down their faces, and they're hacking through the jungle, and their bosses shout, work harder, work harder. I don't know if you've been there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sick, you see it's coming. Work hard, work hard. So you're sweating, you're doing more paperwork, or you're doing anything with kind of computers, hacking through. For some reason, uh, somebody climbs up a tree and looks at these, jungle, these guys hacking through the jungle and ca carving this tray out. And he looks down and he shouts a bit of advice down to him. He says, Guys, we're going in the wrong direction. We need to go this way. So, so often we can be so, so focused about the the, out, the jobs we need to do, so, so focused, looking at computer screens. We miss out, what, what is the vision uh, for Liverpool? Where do we want to go? So we might want to do something like a cover story. So if we were the best ever, what would it look like? What would success look like? And that would be uh, our kind of guiding star or our, our compass about everything that we do. This is a, a graphic that I use when I help some people think about work. It was some guys um, that, that want to set up their own social enterprise. And we said, if you've got it absolutely fantastic, if we had, if it was the most successful um, enterprise it could ever be, what did it look like? And we described it there. And he said, well, what, that's great. Well, what is positive and possible about that? And we described it there. And then we said, where are we now? So rather than thinking about hacking through the jungle, and we just recognised there was a gap between where we are now and where we wanted to be. And then we backwards planned to the now, rather than starting with one with time. So, well, that's our vision. Let's back this plan. You know, what would it look like in 18 months, in, in a year, in six months? What would be our first step that we need to do to walk towards that vision? So, a very powerful tool for the path. Don't tell or listen. So, you need to recognise who's the business lady? Superwoman? Um, Bionic Woman. Bionic Woman. It's switched off. Absolutely fantastic. Bionic Woman. She fell out of the plane. We have the technology. We can rebuild her. Uh, and she had a bionic ear. <laughs> Takes me back, you know. Yeah. Uh, I was doing this presentation, and one got, yeah, absolutely. You got, you got the bean music as well. Yeah. And uh, do you want to say that for the bean? I see Lee Majors more than him. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I see yeah. the bionic man. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I was, I was doing this presentation, one guy says, oh, yeah, they run at 75 miles an hour. I thought, he's more geeky than me about this. <laughs> So running at 75 miles, she, she could uh, she could listen. Yeah, this great skill of listening. And she could you know, whisper from a mile away, and uh, I could imagine she would say, uh, "There's a bomb in Lime Street Station," and she'd hear that whisper. And these terrorists, or whatever, and run at 75 miles an hour to Lime Street Station and grab the bomb and save my train journey home. Which would be fantastic, you know. Uh, and it's, it's, it's about listening. You know, one of the values we need is to listen. And I love this Chinese characteristic that makes up the verb to listen. So we listen with our ears, we also listen with our eyes. So if people don't have words to communicate, or we, sometimes what they say is different to how they behave, we need to listen with our eyes. It's about that undivided attention that we mentioned about Nancy Prime. It's also our undivided attention we mentioned in our ground rules as well. 
It's about you and me, so it's really about that kind of focus. It's about, I think it's about listening with our minds, but also listening with our hearts. Is it obvious? Anybody recognise this name? It's got a little four there. Lady from the Fantastic Four, absolutely. It's the Invisible Woman from the Fantastic Four. Um, can anybody recognise or guess what her superpower might be? Does she go invisible? Does she go invisible? Oh, yes, yeah, she's the Invisible Woman. Oh, she's the Invisible Woman. Yeah. She goes in. <laughs> absolutely. No, you're switched on. That's really good. Sometimes, especially down south when I do this, I go, mm -hmm. I have to go, the Invisible Woman. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah it's, it's not, absolutely. Invisible Woman. And um, so often, we, we're so, so focused on stuff that we, we miss out on the obvious things. And uh, there's a guy called Richard Parson saying there's nothing as invisible as the obvious. And he says, you know, often we get so caught up with a whole range of things that we miss out on the obvious. What's the obvious thing? The support plan is about people being in control of their lives and living the lives that they want to be as well. And so often we can get caught up on resource allocation systems, or we can get so caught up with how much we need to do, or, you know, what, uh, how many boxes have we ticked that we miss out on the obvious things. Uh, and, and Richard uh, Farson also goes on to say that the most obvious reason that a technique loses its power in, in, in when it becomes a technique, and uh, that's my biggest concern, is that uh, the conversations we had at the start of the day is that I see um, organisations systemising this thing called personalisation and, and kind of boxing it, and it's a, a process now that we work through rather than real people having real lives. Um, so we just have to watch that. Um, so we don't want to just get smart kind of techniques. What we want is support plan or self-directed support. It's putting the person at the centre and then us supporting that person to kind of live those lives. And then it's about relationship, you know, and it's uh, Batman and Robin. That's a pretty obvious uh, thing. Uh, but it is it's central, you know, it's about investing in relationship and together we're better. And that's why I like the idea of this programme. We've got six weeks working through it, and then another six weeks. And it's about investing in those, those, that time, uh, and he's about together we're better. My last kind of thought really is from this lady, I don't know if you recognise her. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, I tried to do the twirl. Oh, right, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. She had uh, <coughs> bracelets where she could prevent bullets, she had a tiara she took off, it was like a boomerang. But my favourite one is her lasso the truth. And, um, <laughs> So she, uh, lasso, lasso the truth, and uh, she would kind of lasso a guy, and that is kind of hooked him, and all they could do is tell the truth, you know, and they would say, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I've hidden, I've hidden the children, I've hidden that children in, uh, in a town hall or whatever, and she would fly in her invisible jet and uh, save the kidnapped children. And, and the truth is, well, what we need to be honest about, really, my feeling is it can't be done by one superhero. My, my, I, I talked about my job as a person set the plan coordinator and then moving into the personalisation arena. There was an expectation that John me to do it all. I just don't think I can do it all. It's a bigger job. And actually, you know, there's some people out there that are more gifted than me in different kind of areas. And people out there have different skills and talents uh, to help us develop um, self-directed support, support plan. So it's not record saying I'm better or worse, it's just what can I do and what, how can we use each other's skills for so my top tips really is it starts with our thinking. Unless we think in a different way, we won't behave in a different way. And that's for us in this room today, but that's also for our managers, it's for our leaders, it's, it's for our community as well. We need to have a vision of success. So, you know, I've seen the DVD and that's, that's aspirational, uh, what you've got. But what is our vision of success? You know, have you got it absolutely spot on right for people you're supporting and, and developing their own support plans, living their lives, what would success look like? We need to listen, so we need to listen to each other, we need to listen to people we're supporting as well. It's obviously about people, not just about techniques. You know, we can have uh, computers, we can have uh, meetings, but what we need to do is think about how do I put the person at the centre of everything that I do. And it's about relationship, relationships at the centre. Okay, so I want, I want to take that really, take that, that thinking of success of that sort of and for you guys to think about if we've got it absolutely spot on in Liverpool, what would the success be like? Right? If I was living in Milton Keynes and, you know, my daughter, I'm hoping we'll have a support plan when she gets older, and we're saying, you know, we're going we're gonna to move to Liverpool because what they're doing is absolutely fantastic, and my daughter will have the best life because I know support plan is.
is absolutely fantastic. What would it look like for, for, for a person? For you guys in this room, what would it look like if we got out to expand like what would it look like for a team? And then for the organisation as well, I know that there's some kind of changes going on, and I know we need to kind of work as an organisation. <coughs> you know, since of Liverpool uh, City Council, what would it kind of look like? And then finally for our community, you know, the, the, where the people live and where we live, where we work, what the success look like? Absolutely spot on around the support. That's what I'd like you to do to think about. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Very well.